So here we have the Times of London, US capital under siege. The Daily Telegraph, again, one of those iconic images uh, from that siege of Congress, democracy under siege, very simply said, anarchy in the USA. And that is their front page there, Trump's legacy. And again, one of those striking, iconic images, uh, the images that many people couldn't imagine would happen. Disgraceful scenes in the US Congress. The United States stands for democracy around the world, and it's now vital there should be a peaceful and orderly transfer of power. But there was also, and this is a useful German phrase here, schadenfreude. This was a sort of malicious joy at what's happened from America's enemies. We've seen the Iranian president tweeting uh, essentially saying that this was about a failure of American democracy. The Venezuelan government, again, which has been under direct pressure from the Trump administration, saying U.S. foreign policy consistently promotes these policies of aggression against legitimate democratic processes worldwide. Uh, again, many people blaming President Trump and his supporters directly for fermenting this. 